we're going to add this little logo to our micro learning cover page in rise 360 um fairly popular uh, customization especially for the micro learning and this is my first download i'm going to give you the files it's really just a couple files i included both a png and svg i'm going to use my svg in this so we have our micro learning and we just have that title and i'm gonna hook on my logo to it first i'm gonna find my selector so it's an h1 it's the only h1 i'm just gonna make it a little more specific h1 with an id of title now here's the the sneaky thing we're gonna use a pseudo element this is the before pseudo element. You can actually add content in there. I'll probably do another uh, video on selectors and using the pseudo element. It's very handy. So I just typed in that my content. So I'm adding co if content through CSS. Very sneaky. A screen reader would not pick that up though, just an, an FYI. But it doesn't matter. I'm just going to be using it. to insert my logo, which is gonna be a background image. Uh, and now here's some CSS. Let me, I'm just gonna make this thing a black box. I need to give it a height, uh, display block. Okay, here we go now. You actually have to use the content and just leave that blank. It's very weird how the pseudo elements work. Uh, okay, I forget that background. I'm just going to outline it so we can see how wide it is. So it's going 100% of the width. I'm not actually going to be using that whole width. Now my background image, it's right alongside my CSS file. So I can just link to it. My logo.svg. That should work. Keep in mind, I'm just in my browser debugger. It doesn't really know where my, my files are. I'm gonna have to save this to my custom.css file for me to see that link to the logo file. So I'm gonna copy that. Here are my files. I've got the uh, theme folder. If you go into Squirm content, I put everything in a folder called theme. This is on the theme layer, visual presentation layer. Got all my files there, my logo. .svg or png. Now I'm going to rewrite my CSS here. I'm just pasting it in from my browser debugger. Now I'm going to hit save. Oh, I've got a logo, just a background image, and by default it will repeat. Now, funny thing about backgrounds in CSS, I don't want it to repeat, so I'll just turn off that repeat. Background repeat, no repeat. And maybe we'll adjust the size here. Um, don't need it to be that tall. And by the way, good practice is to try to modify the heights as much as possible instead of the widths, because you can run into responsive issues if you uh, mess with the, uh, the widths a lot. So, okay, I'm gonna put, I just put a little, little margin, margin bottom on that so it's not uh, right up against my actual title and yeah, I'm specifying a height and you can you can modify this the dimensions very easily with the uh, CSS file that's included in this download okay this looks pretty good I'm gonna copy my work again. I'm just going to paste right over my older CSS with my finished CSS. Remember to hit refresh. And there's my logo. Looks good. By the way, oh, and always check mobile. This was a pretty easy, safe one. Looks, looks good at all sizes. And I did not specify any widths, which is good. Just a height, little, little teeny height of my logo. And everything still works. Now, by the way, I noticed this. 
Does that drive you nuts that it, it snaps when you hover? It pauses that animation, but it snaps. It's, it's a small issue. It doesn't really drive me nuts, but there is a better way to do it. Um, I did a deep dive on some animation where I was trying to pause the, uh, the animation on hover. Same exact thing, and the, uh, this code works. The, uh, you can just pause that animation. I'll leave this code in, in the file in case anyone wants it. And now, with that, isn't that nice? It pauses the animation exactly where the cursor hovered over it. Isn't that nice? All right, let me know if anyone has uh, issues with this download. I'm also going to be doing another video on the regular courses. This is micro learning. Um, I think the code is going to be very similar for the regular Rise 360 cover pages, but uh, I'm going to keep that in a separate download. And if you ever get lost, just go back to theme360.com. That's theme-360.com. Yes, I could not get the good domain name, so I got the bad domain name with the dash. Thank you.